Gate of Animals. In this module, you will learn about the Gate of Animals. Joseph is sitting in the garden. He is looking at something with a lot of interest. Let us look closer and see what he is looking at. Oh, he is watching an earthworm crawling on the ground. You must have seen earthworms moving in the soil on a rainy day, isn't it? An earthworm has no bones but can still move for short distances. Have you wondered how an earthworm moves without any bones? Let us look at an earthworm and find out. Well, the body of an earthworm has many rings. These rings are joined end to end. These rings contain muscles. The earthworm uses these muscles to move shorter distances. When the earthworm moves, it first extends the front part of its body by expanding the muscles. Simultaneously, it fixes the rear part of the body to the ground firmly. After the first part is extended, it releases the rear part. It then contracts its muscles to shorten the front part of the body and pulls the rear end forward. As a result, it moves forward to a short distance. Such continuous muscle contraction and expansion leads to the movement in earthworms. Like an earthworm, many other animals have special features that assist them in the movement. Let us observe the movement of some of these animals. Let us first look at the movement of a snail. Like an earthworm, a snail too does not have any bones. It has a slimy body and a shell on top. The snail moves with the help of a thick muscular structure present at the bottom of its body called foot. It contracts and expands the foot muscles and makes wave-like movements for moving forward. Let us now look at the movements in a cockroach. A cockroach can walk, run, climb and fly short distances. A cockroach has three pairs of legs that help it in walking. The cockroach has distinct muscles near the legs that help it in walking. It has two pairs of wings attached to its breast region. The cockroach has muscles near the wings. These muscles move when the cockroach flies. Let us now see how a bird moves. Most birds walk and fly. The birds walk with the help of their feet and toes. The birds can fly easily. This is because they have a streamlined body. Such a body helps the birds to cut through the air easily and fly. Also, the four limbs of a bird are modified to form wings. These wings help the bird to fly. The next animal is the fish. The body of a fish is specifically designed for swimming. Like a bird, it too has a streamlined body. This shape allows water to move easily around the body and offer least resistance to its flow. The fish swims using its fin and tail. The fins help the fish in balancing. The fish uses its tail to change the direction. The fish uses its tail to move forward. It moves its tail from side to side. This zigzag movement pushes the water and helps the fish to move forward. The last animal is the snake. Snakes slither or crawl on the ground in a wave-like motion. Snakes have a long backbone with interconnected muscles that are joined to the backbone and ribs. When a snake moves, its body curves into many loops. At each loop, the snake presses its body against the ground and makes a forward push. Such consecutive pushes help snakes in moving their body. Let's recap. An earthworm walks shorter distances using its muscles attached to the rings. A snail moves by making a wave-like motion with the help of a thick muscular structure present at the bottom of its body called foot. A cockroach has three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings that help it in walking and flying respectively. A bird can fly easily because of the shape of its body and its forelimbs. A fish uses its tail and fins to swim in water. 
A snake slithers or crawls on the ground in a wave-like motion to move.